if you're new here, my name is Jackie. Um, this week's video is a Lululemon haul and review. So every Saturday I try to put a Lululemon video up where I show you the things that I've picked up over this past week. And I kind of give you my review, my thoughts on each of the pieces, tell you what I'm keeping, tell you what I am not going to be keeping. So um, that is what today's video is. If you noticed, if you've been following me for a little bit, I did not have a review up last week. My family went on a vacation. It was very spontaneous and so there was no time and so I just had to decide that um, it was time for a break and I appreciated it. It was so good but I am so excited to be back with you guys this week and I have some great things that I am excited to show you. So if you are excited about it, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you like this video and you like this kind of video, if you love Lululemon, don't forget to hit subscribe. So let's get right on with the review. The first thing that I wanted to show you is what I am wearing. This is the whole tight tee in the color pink peony. You guys know I love pink peony. I love pink in general. This color is one of the prettiest pinks to me um, this season absolutely love it love the whole tight tee i love the short sleeve the tank the long sleeve i love all of them i wear them so 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 much like so many times a week this is one of the things that i pull for the most um i did want to just mention to you guys that when i wear mine i wear them with the like a cloud bra under it but I have found a Leica Cloud Bra that is the perfect new for my skin tone. Um, the Twilight Rose works perfectly, which is kind of crazy because it's a pinkish color, but I do have a pinkish undertone. And so um, when I wear it with the Leica lighter colors, I it's still, you don't see it because it's the perfect nude for me. So I do know that the Leica Cloud Bras have a lot of nude colored tones out right now. So I would suggest to you if you're having trouble with any of the lighter colors and your bra showing through, I would really search for a color that's the appropriate nude for your skin tone. Um, and that's just like to put that out there for you guys who are having a little bit of trouble. Um, Cause that I feel like is like the key to why mine doesn't show through. So I'm wearing it with my soft stream high rise pants in the color bone. I actually was wearing my Respiel pink slides from last season with it. I'm barefooted right now, just sitting on the floor, but love the soft stream pants. I have talked about them so many times, but I just love them for wearing as an easy, casual throw on and go type of piece. I feel like it feels like I'm wearing pajamas or sweats, which who can beat that, but it looks dressy enough to be really cute and casual and just it dresses up really nicely I feel like so um, I wear it a lot of times with these um, whole tight tees and actually I don't usually just wear them hanging over I kind of just tuck them up into my bra or crop them a little bit I do this with them all the time they sit really easily like that and then it just gives that straight cropped length to whatever length you want. So that's what I'm wearing today. Let's move on. But before we move on to the things I picked up this week, I did want to mention to you guys that the dance studio mid rise pants that I showed you guys in my, I think it was my last haul, but I'll put it up in the cards here. Um, I told you guys that I was going to return this. I got it in the color bone. The reason I was going to return it is that it has this liner and I was thinking that it wasn't going to be appropriate for, you know, summertime in the South high humidity. I just didn't think it was going to work with the humidity, um, but they, I ended up keeping them. Long story short, I just couldn't get it out of my mind how much I liked the way that they fit and how they looked. Um, and then we ended up getting a cool front and I popped the tags and wore them that day. It was fantastic. I absolutely love them. Really, really glad that I didn't end up returning them. So I just wanted to follow up with you guys because I said I wasn't keeping them. Um, but I just love them so much. So I decided that I'm going to keep them whenever I go camping, cooler summer nights, it'll work for that. Um, and then I also lounged around in the air condition with them on. And, um, you know, it's definitely chilly enough in my 60 degree house because um, my air condition is so low. So no regrets about keeping them, but I did just want to follow up with you guys because I like them so much that I did decide that I couldn't let them go. So moving on to what I picked up this week. So first up, I picked up the Asymmetrical Align C to D cup bra. When I saw this drop, I knew immediately that I had to try it. I didn't necessarily think it was going to work for me, but I knew I had to try it because I was so excited that a C to D 
you know, just the one shoulder bra. I really wanted one, but the uh, styles that were out before, they just didn't work for me, no matter if I sized up. It was just not just right, and, um, and I just didn't wanna settle. So I am super pleasantly surprised with the way that it fits. I really, really like it. This is what it looks like. It is just kind of plain and simple. Basically, it looks like a regular align in the C to D cup, just with only the one shoulder strap. Um, and I really, really love it. This is what it looks like in the back. It's basically the same as the front, in all honesty, except that it's just a super flat panel. It has the um, thicker um, rib cage band around the rib cage, as you can see. And then it has the logo here. Really simple, good coverage, very comfortable. It is the Align fabric. It does come with removable cup pads, which you can see that I have already removed them out of mine. You guys know that I really do not like a removable cup pad, um, but I do know that some of you guys really do appreciate having it. So I, I just wear nippies under it, under all of these bras that are gonna not have enough coverage for me, but I prefer my own shape to the shape that the cup pads create. So anyhow, um, love, love this bra. I'm super excited about it. So happy that I have an option in the one because it's just so cute, that one strap option. I just couldn't get into the styles that were there before. I am really happy with this one. So I would definitely suggest if you are a D-cup or even a little bit higher, this very likely could work for you. But I size up to a size 10 in these. That is typical for me. Any Lululemon bra that is not the D to double D, like double D or better, I do size up one size. I don't, I was concerned that sizing up to the 10 was going to be um, hard to work out for this style of bra because, you know, with the one strap, sometimes you might need in order to be supported to have it just a little bit tighter, but I feel like this works perfectly. So I would say stick with whatever your true bra size is for these. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited about it. Like I definitely recommend them if you have been holding off on trying one of these one shoulder asymmetrical style bras um, and it is super comfortable. I can absolutely see myself wearing this for yoga. I could wear it to lift if I wanted to. I'm not sure how practical it would really be, but definitely for yoga, it'll be great. And also I have already kind of tried to make a little outfit and I've put a denim top over this with my black aligned leggings and some sneakers belt bag over it. Super cute. So I just, it would be cute as a look for sort of a street style type look. So I just love this one. I'm really excited about it. I highly recommend if you haven't had success with the other styles that you try this one out. Okay, next up, I am so excited about this color lip gloss. I feel like it's the sonic pink of this season, um, which I realize it doesn't look exactly like sonic pink and I still absolutely love sonic pink, but it's such a pretty vibrant hot pink color. Um, I just love it. So as soon as I saw that it was going to be dropped, I picked it up right away. I know it is sold out right now. So if you haven't gotten your hands on it, I'm crossing my fingers, but there is a restock on it, but I knew that I had to have it and um, it did not disappoint. It is such a good color, such a bright, beautiful pink color. I absolutely love it. So, you know, I was putting in my cart, anything that I could grab in this color. Well, anything that's in my styles that I love in this color. Cause once I get one piece in a new color, you know, I like to have several pieces in that. So anyway, that's, I picked up the medium large. I do not really need to go into details cause I did not need another scuba. And we have talked to scubas so many times. I do have to say these half zip hoodies are not even my preference as far as scubas go. In all honesty, I really prefer, prefer the scuba full zips over the funnel necks and over the half zips. I like all of the styles, don't get me wrong, I really do like all of the styles, but I like having the option of unzipping it all the way and having whatever bra you're wearing underneath show or whatever top you're wearing underneath show if you so choose. So I would love if Lululemon would give us some of these styles in full zips, but we work with what they give us. So um, anyway, I love this color. This is what the scuba looks like from the front. There is nothing different about it than the other 5,000 that I already have in my closet, except that this color is absolutely gorgeous. I never picked up a sonic pink in a scuba. So for me, this is my first hot pink colored scuba. I do have pink blossom from last year, but that's definitely 
more subdued than this color is. So I just feel like this is leaning slightly on the more coral side. It's not coral by any means, but if you're comparing it to the color hot pink, I feel like this one leans just slightly more on the coral side than Sonic Pink does. So it's not orangey by any means. You can look at it and see it's not orangey, but love this color so much. So excited that I was able to grab it, crossing my fingers that it will be restocked. But I did wanna say, um, if you see these scuba colors, a lot of these summer colors, whenever they're super popular, they go out of stock really quick. We have been getting a lot more scuba options from Lululemon, which I'm thrilled about. Um, because I just love the scuba, so I just wear them every day. So I have no problem with spending the money on them whenever I know. I end up wearing one every night when I'm lounging in my house. I just love them, they're comfortable. And I did get this one in the size medium large, but I wanted to mention, I'm going all over the place right now, but I wanted to mention to you guys, if you see a color that drops in these um, scubas for sure. Um, you really have to jump on it right away and um, grab it while it's there because like this sold out so so quickly so if you know you're really going to want a color you really need to grab it right away if it's important to you to get that color or you really might not be able to. Sometimes they restock and sometimes they do not if it's not a core color so if it's not black or white are just one of the colors that they basically always have in stock. Um, I would say, if you know you're gonna want it, go ahead and grab it right away, because like I said, they're selling out quickly. So I'm crossing my fingers about a restock of that color, but there are no guarantees about that. So hopefully, if you really wanted it, you got your hands on it while they were available. So my next thing that I picked up is the lip gloss colored Flow Wide Bra. I got it in a size 10. This is, like I said, the size bra that I pick up whenever it's not in a D, a double D cup. So um, I did size up to a 10 in this. I don't usually gravitate to Flow Wise as my number one bra by any means. I definitely love a like a cloud bra. I usually go for an energy bra if I'm looking for something with a lot of support. Um, and this is the bra that I'll reach for if I'm looking for as little coverage as possible, something just really lightweight, something really just less. There are days that it's really, really hot. I don't want any more than I have to have. And this is the type of bra that I usually pull for those days. These do have the cup pads in it um, and they like all other bras are removable. I do usually end up removing these as well, but sometimes I'll leave them in for a little bit. Um, and like you can see, it is just super simple with the Y back. Um, I got this because they had it in lip gloss and lip gloss wasn't available in any like Leica Cloud bras because I'd have automatically picked up the Leica Cloud bra if it were in that color and I still will. Um, but I wanted to make a set and this is one of my handful of bras that I do wear from Hululemon and I definitely recommend them for just a very light. These are not going to be um, the type of bra that you're going to wear if you need a lot of support or anything like that. But for me on lifting days, I can definitely wear it. I'll wear it for yoga and just casually. Um, super cute bra. It looks really great on. It is definitely comfortable. So I do recommend them. They just don't have the comfort factor for me that my Leica Cloud bras do, which is why it's not like it's my everyday all day wear, but I definitely pull for them often enough to have wanted to grab it whenever I saw that the lip gloss color came out in it. And um, I love it, no regrets about that. It looks so cute with the scuba and I love it. Okay, so I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, but the next thing that I picked up is the whole tight long sleeve shirt in the color white. Believe it or not, with all the colors that I've had in long sleeve and short sleeve, I had never grabbed the long sleeve in white. I have it in the short sleeve that I picked up at the beginning of the season, um, and I love it and I wear it all the time. But I was really disappointed when I went to the website because I just felt like I kept going to pull for a long sleeve version of it, and I didn't have it in white, but they were sold out in my size, so they finally restocked the long sleeves in white in my size and I picked it up right away. I wear these in a size six. Um, the reason that I grabbed this this time of year is because with my soft string pants, with my loungeful straight leg joggers, with sweatpants in general, um, 
the larger silhouette bottom type pants, the flowy type pants. I always like a more fitted top. And when I'm inside and lounging and um, in the air condition, I look for a little bit more coverage on my arms, whether it's summertime or not because of the air condition. And so um, I would gotten those blue lounge full straight leg pants um, in, I think it's pastel blue, blissful blue. I can't remember which color blue it is, but um, I knew white would look so cute with it, but I didn't have white. So I kept pulling, kept going to pull for it and being like, oh yeah, I forgot. I don't even own that one yet. So I really needed it because I had pulled for it so many times. So I went ahead and grabbed this um, while they had it in stock in my size. Like I said, I'm not sure that they'll keep these in stock, the long sleeve version all through the summertime, but I definitely needed a light long sleeve for indoors for the summertime. Super glad I grabbed these. Like I said, go ahead and try and find a bra that is really close to your skin tone to help with it not being so see-through. You can see my hanger line through here clearly. So I'm not saying that they don't have a level of sheerness. They do. They are fairly sheer. So be aware of that, but also be aware that if you find the right nude, you can make it work without it really showing through. So um, you'll see in the try on um, with the white, you can see a little bit more, definitely a little bit more than you can with the pink, but it is not something that would deter me whatsoever because it's just a faint um, amount of bra that you can see through and it doesn't bother me whatsoever. So I'm really happy to have grabbed this. I'm so glad it came back in stock. I picked it up immediately when I got the in stock notifications. And I did want to mention, if you guys did not know, whenever you are looking for a particular size in an item, like I was looking for this in a size six, they do have online, they do have a place where it says notify me when it's back in stock. Definitely take advantage of that. I have gotten so many things that I was really, really hoping to be able to grab, but was already sold out in my size just by hitting that um, notify me whenever it restocks um, button. You'll get the email, get a little notification, and then I just grabbed it right away. So sometimes there's only a few in stock when you get that notify me. So I would say if it's something you've been really holding out for, again, grab it while it's available. So. In case you didn't know that, just a little piece of information, but I'm really excited about having that because I feel like that particular shirt, for me, it is definitely a staple and I will wear it over and over. Okay, next up, I grabbed um, two different colors of the same item and it is the Align six inch short. This is in a size six and this color is the heathered medium gray color. Um, I can't remember the exact, uh, it's HCNG. I'll have it linked below, but um, was so excited about this. I have a pair of heathered gray pants that leggings that I wear all the time. And I really, really love how it pairs with particular colors and um, top of tops. And so I was really excited to see these come out. And the thing that I am most excited about is that they are in the really nice soft align fabric. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my align fabrics have varied quite a bit um, here recently. So sometimes depending on what the pattern or the color of the align pants are, I feel like sometimes they're softer than other times, which kind of drives me crazy because I wish it would be consistent. Um, because you just want to know what you're getting when you're ordering it online. But these are the really, really soft ones. They are single lined. If you didn't know, um, the double lined has a seam on the outside, but also I've had this question a lot. Um, you actually can tell online, it is listed online, whether it's single, no. It doesn't say it if it's single lined. If it's double lined, it says lined for coverage. So if you look in the description online, you can see that it says lined for coverage. If it does not say lined for coverage, it shouldn't be, it should be single lined. So anyway, the outside would be where you would have a seam if these were double lined. They are not, they are single lined, which makes me so, so happy because they are not going to be overly hot. I do not mind um, a double lined if it's a color that I absolutely have to have, but in general, I have tried to stay away from double lined. If I can, they just fit a little bit different. They look a little bit different on um, so I feel like these are particularly flattering 
comfortable, soft, lightweight, all around winter. So, so happy with these. These are another thing, the Align um, six inch shorts. If you see them in a color that you love, I highly recommend that you grab them because they do tend to sell out come summertime. That also goes for running shorts, just in general, the really popular colors tend to sell out. And like I said, sometimes they get restocked, sometimes they don't. So the other color that I picked up is Tidal Teal. Okay, so if you watched last week's video, um, or the week before last, if you watched my last video, then you know that I picked up the Tidal Teal full length leggings and decided by the time I did the try on for you guys, that if they came out in shorts, that I would return the full length leggings and pick up the shorts. They did come out with the shorts and I could not be more excited about it. In the summertime, I absolutely pull for shorts so much more than I do for full length leggings. It is 100 degrees here on the daily, so shorts is the way to go. Leggings I only pull for if I'm going to be remaining indoors, if I'm doing yoga, that sort of thing. But for working out, wearing to the gym, this is what I wear. I lift at the gym. I don't do anything high intensity. I'm not particularly hard on my clothes at all. So there's minimal risk to wearing it. Um, even though it is that delicate align fabric, I've really not had any problems so far. So I love these. These are just more comfortable and more, um, just in general, more flattering on me, I would say, than my Wonder Train 6 inch. I do still have my Wonder Trains. I do still like them. Um, for particular things, there are activities that I know I am going to be more physical or have friction on my clothes. And in that case, I will absolutely pull for the Wonder Trains. Or if I know I'm going to get outrageously sweaty, if I'm going to be outside all day, there are days that because of hu the humidity, I'll pull for the Wonder Trains just so that, that sweat dries. But in general, I'm trying to build up my Align collection because Align shorts is what I wear so, so much of the summertime. So I love this color. Tidal Teal has been one of my favorites. This is so, so pretty with white or the color Bone. Um, other pastels look really great with it as well, but I love it with white, black, and Bone, um, which I have so much of, you know, tops in that, in those colors. Um, so I was really excited to grab this. Uh, I mentioned in my last video that I really felt like the full length leggings of the, uh, in the title teal color sort of showed imperfections ever so slightly more than some of my dark colors do. I really don't feel like I see it as much in the shorts as I did in the leggings. So that's just maybe where my problem areas showed up the most. So I'm really happy with my decision to grab the shorts over the full length leggings. And like I said, that's a me thing. That's not necessarily that's something that everybody else would notice, but I love this color so much. Um, yeah, really excited about these. Excited to get a few more of the Align six inch in the single line. That makes me really, really happy. So um, I am really happy with all of the things that I picked up this week. Definitely not returning any of them because I love every single one of them and I would definitely recommend any of those. But like I said, if you are on the fence about what you're picking up right now, I would say um, if you see these shards drop in a color that you love and that you want, go for that first. And always, if you see a scuba drop in a color that you're hoping to get your hands on, do not wait because they sell out so quickly and they just sometimes don't come back. But Anyway, that is it for today's haul. I hope you guys liked it. If you are looking for inspiration on how to wear or what to pair with each of your Lululemon things, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Like to know it. I put piece, put these pieces together, make little outfits with it, what I'm wearing to the gym, what I'm wearing on the daily, how I wear them casually. And then I always have that posted on like to know it a lot of times on my Instagram stories. So um, yeah, follow me there. Also on Insta Instagram, I will always post my pics from each week's drop. So the things that I am looking at, the things that I think are worth your money, always put there. And if I see anything on We Made Too Much that I think um, will sell really quickly, then I'll usually put that out there for you guys too. So don't forget to follow me on my other socials, but I really appreciate you guys being here and I will see you in next week's video.